So about that seven patty cheeseburger I did nine months ago, which I did it again, but we did it with 10 patties. Let's get into the Coke though. Mm -hmm. McDonald's got the best Coke. Argue with your mother. Get. I don't think anybody really cares about what McDonald's Coke tastes like, given the fact that you're, I think this is a five, I'm not bad, five, yeah, I think it is a five guys burger, a 10 patties, five by five guy burger, given the fact that the fries look like burnt foreskin. I don't know, like, I, I know a lot of people do like the fries over there at five guys. It's neither here nor there if you do. They do look like uh, really, really deep fried or really, really crunchy foreskin, you know, I don't know. Regardless of that, to sit there and outdo a seven patty burger as if that's like not a challenge in and of itself. And then to say, you know what? Seven is not enough. Let's up it. Ten. Three more patties on top. When the, the seven patty alone was already ridiculous. Um, but to do ten, I see oftentimes in these people, uh, these mukbang communities, is that they always have to outdo themselves. So uh, what they tend to do is they, they do one challenge and then they realize, oh my God, like, I started off really, really like end game, right? It'd be one thing if you were eating like a packet of ramen or two packets of ramen. And then like after a year, you're eating 10 ramen. But to start off eating seven patties and then somehow try to elevate that any further is crazy because you have to consistently always outdo yourself, right? And people are going to get bored after they see you eating seven patties, right? It's like, uh, you know, when you're, when you were like a young child, right? Uh, you know, when you're like 12 years old and you discover the internet for the first time and then you're thinking, you know what? I'm going to watch pornography, right? Everybody does it. And then you start watching basic bitch shit. And then suddenly after like, you know, uh, one or two months of that, you like, this is whatever, like basic sex is like whatever. And then you start to get into the weird stuff and the weird stuff and the weird stuff. And then by the time you're 23, um, you think that sucking on toes and, you know, impregnating people's mouths is somehow the optimal way of having sex. It's the same thing here. You're just, all you're doing is you're making realistic scenarios ridiculous. So she has to eat <laughs> 10 patty burgers, but here we are into that very good honey it doesn't look good either it's all quantity and no quality on this and i i don't even know how much this would even cost at five guys to put together i mean isn't like a regular double cheeseburger at five guys literally like 13 dollars? am i wrong i know it's something ridiculous so a 10 patty burger has got to be way 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 higher than that not even to mention the amount of calories was like 500 calories for the double this has got to be at least like 1400 1600 calories just for the burger alone i have to mention the two servings of fries that she got here this got four slices of cheese damn and 10 patties with grilled onions so I, I don't even think the onions matter oh my look at the sheer amount of grease on the fingertips dude look at the look at the sheer amount of oil dripping off of that can't even bite into the full patty dude I, she did manage to get into like four or five patties there though i'll give her that i got my ranch of course the ranch naturally I got ketchup, just in case. gotta get the ranch it's looking a little dry. I should have got more um, cheese. I don't think the cheese. I don't think so. Why are your hands so wet? God damn, Rima. I think that little serving of ketchup is not going to do it. Damn, three fries in one bite is crazy, bro. I mean, you got it. It's two servings of fries here, so. Woo! Damn! But why though? Like, what's the difference when you eat at Five Guys and you're getting a double cheeseburger? Because I think that's what they make minimum. It, 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 you get the idea of what a double cheeseburger is, right? I think, and in my opinion, once you go over double cheeseburger, it just becomes irrelevant. Like you're just adding on more stuff for no other reason than just to add it on. It doesn't taste better. It doesn't increase the quality of it. It doesn't make it feel better in your mouth. It's just actually harder to deal with. So I would always recommend double cheeseburger or bust. Like, don't go anything higher than that. Uh, maybe a single if you want to, but I think a double is probably the most optimal. But if we're talking about a 10 patty burger, five times the double, that's incredible. I, I, I don't know how much more you're getting from this. Obviously, she has people in her, you know, on, on her videos that do watch her and do enjoy watching her eat and stuff like that. Um, I think Rima's cool. I do like her. I think she's funny. I think she's cool. Um, but she's obviously doing this for the satisfaction of other men or maybe women. I don't know if there are women in her comment section that are beating off to this. I'm, I couldn't be too sure about that. Uh, I do know that women are deplorable as well, just like men. So I wouldn't put it past women that also beat off to this particular type of content. But I know men are. I know for a fact men are beating off to this shit. So I have to assume that the majority of the reason why she does this particular type of content is because she knows that men in her comment section are just beating off extra extraordinarily hard. Yeah, that ketchup ain't mad. Oh, that ketchup ain't lasting, dude. Beautiful. 
amazing. Mm. This is the, I drink. the ideal woman. Drinking Coca-Cola, by the way, out of a Mickey Mouse, a Mickey Mouse Halloween basket is is insane. It's just it's just something different about it. Um, part of me believes that she walked up to the 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 drink dispenser and she just poured it out into that shit. I don't know if that's something you can do in the. I remember I used to know dudes that used to do that way back in the day. I knew dudes that used to walk in with their own cup or they used to walk in with bottles of water. They would just suck them down. They'd go up to the dispenser and they would just pour them in themselves. Um, eventually, McDonald's has caught on to that. You can't do that anymore because the dispensers are usually not even – the dispensers are usually behind the counter. So you can't actually go in and fill up your shit. There is a few times where I've walked in and there have been like dispensers and usually people are double tripling up on the amount of liquids they can get including me if I'm ever going to McDonald's, if I suck down a water, I do get another water. But here's the thing. If I'm paying literally $1.20 for a cup, I'm getting my fill of fucking water. Suck me off, bro. It's water. You know what I'm talking about, dude? Like, uh, you're charging people $3 for a cup of soda. I'm not getting any of that. I'm just getting water, right? Dude, it's, it's insane to me how sometimes um, people think that you can charge as much as they do for water, bro, or, or a cup of ice. 35 cents for a cup of ice? Dude, what are you making this ice with, bro? Who the fuck is making this shit? Like, Frosty the Snowman's back there? Like, is he, is he, is he like, cutting appendages off himself so I can suck him down? Like, no, obviously not. It's just some basic bitch water and ice. Come on. Beautiful. I hope she cleans that straw. Dude, the hands are so greasy. Oh. Okay, beautiful. Got that? Damn. The mouth noises are just not it, dude. Why even bother having a bun at this point? Like, you might as well. It's just, it should just be meat in your mouth. You don't even need the bun. I understand it for aesthetical purposes. You're trying to emulate a cheeseburger, but this is not a cheeseburger anymore. This is just big meats. Like, this is basically like a quarter of a cow. How many, how many cows do you think are in that one one burger right there? How many cows? Like three? Three three individual cows are in there? Look at the, the bun is like falling apart. Damn. Slow the fuck down. Mm. 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 It's not that good. Damn. Hold on, bitch. <laughs> She's falling the fuck the apart. The bottom is the juiciest part because it got... The grilled onions on here. Well, it's probably because gravity and all the oils and the juices and the cheese from the top part probably cascaded down. Kind of like when I wash myself, I wash myself on the top with soap, and then the, the soap cascades down off the bottom of my, uh, off the bottom half of my body. Why do you need to, you know, properly scrub your legs when the soap is already cascading down, right? And the cheese. Of course, of course. Damn. These TikTok mukbangers gotta calm the fuck down. I don't know why, like, mukbanging has become so prolific in the last year, dude. Because it's not, if you look at my channel for any extent of time, especially in the last two months, we've been exploring a lot of these mukbangers. So if you look at somebody like Jelly Bean Sweets, if you look at Rima, if you look at 500 Pound Untis, whatever her fucking name is, if you look at that one girl from the UK, right? If you look at, uh, um, Becky Jones, right? F uh, Corey's World. Oh my god, a burger, a burger. You see all these people. And it's all mukbangs. Like, these people are, like, exhausting themselves with tons and tons and tons and tons of food. And they do it every day. And I just don't know why it's so popular. It's such an enigma to me how so many people love. A lot of people have told me that they like watching mukbangs because they like having somebody there that they're eating with. That's fine. That's okay. But are you watching this woman who's eating a 10 patty burger and two servings of fries while you're eating whatever you're eating are you, are you like are you like sitting there with that person thinking like oh this is nice this is beautiful while this person literally swallows down like a good 1500 calories of just cow meat like what 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 kind, what kind of enjoyment are you getting in that scenario there's no way that you're doing that for the satisfaction of having somebody to eat with right thanks for watching it's spooky season bookies we have orange coated chipotle a burrito and a bowl let's get into it we try a new flavor of Doritos. And, and Doritos to top it off, man. Why? It's like, what are we even doing? How big are these serving sizes, bro? Of course, you know, I couldn't forget about my It's mind. always Chipotle is like the default. If you're going to eat a lot of food, you, you eat Chipotle. Because it's like, it's just pure slop anyway. So it almost doesn't even matter what you're putting in your mouth. The fucking pickles. Hello. Damn. <laughs> just right into it like that? It's so, ugh. It just doesn't look good. It's sticky. I don't want my food to be sticky, right? Is that a piece of your hair that's stuck to the burrito? 
I guess it really doesn't matter at this point, all right? I mean, listen, dude, you might as well just keep going. Your hair stuck to it regardless. I don't know exactly what she's going to do after this. I do even take a shower after this. You, like, scrub it out of your hair. I guess you just kind of live with it because why does it fucking matter at this point? But too many of these people like coating their foods and stuff, and I just never understood it. If it's a finger food, um, what are you talking about? If it's something that you can put a fork into, I get it. But it, given the fact that it's a burrito... If you can call this a burrito, it's probably like a double or triple like wrapped burrito from Chipotle. I just don't understand if you grab it onto it, why do you have to coat it with something? It can't be good. It just cannot be good. She's like sweating while she's eating it as well. Putting the Dorito on the side is crazy, bro. Ugh. Why even bother, like, try to, like, grab it like this? Like, your hands are already coated. Just take a bite of your nails. Good shit. You're doing well. You're doing, you're doing well, Myra. Uh, okay, Rima. I mean, you never give rice. True. Damn, bro. Just eat the fork. Ah, oh, so much food, man. The motherfucking queso. Oh. I can't even imagine who the person behind the counter is seeing. Like, can you imagine, like, her showing up and you just know that everything she orders is just going to be for herself? This is, like, three people's worth of food right here. Or maybe even more, to be honest. Like, I remember literally sharing a bowl from Chipotle with somebody before. And it was fine. Like, there was plenty of food between me and that other person. No problem. And uh, the same thing could be said for that burrito. It's probably four people's worth of food here. Not even to mention the Doritos, not even to mention the queso, not even to mention the guac. None of that shit. Not even to mention any of that shit. And whatever the fuck she melted that shit on. Whatever the orange stuff is, not even to mention any of that. This is probably like four or five people's worth of food. Damn, bro. Where'd that pickle come from? Living life. Damn, dude. Double biting that shit is crazy. Gotta get the Doritos, naturally. People love food nowadays, man. They love it too much, I feel like. But you know what? I don't think that I don't think that Rima really likes food. I think that she knows that this is just a job for her, so she has to do it. Otherwise, like she just won't get paid. So it's more it's less about like the practicality. It's less about it's less about like whether or not she actually wants to eat the food, and more so she has to eat the food because this is what just what people expect from her at this point. That forehead be banging, dude. Them edges is pushed the fuck back. I'm gonna need you to stop dropping new shit that don't associate with that chicken wrap. Bring back the McWraps. You dropping new shit, but you don't got the wraps. What's up? Hey, Wookiees, we trying a chicken Big Mac from McDonald's. People yeah. have told me that it's really bad. The chicken Big Mac is like extraordinarily slop. And it's just like, the 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 chicken that they use, by the way, is just big McNuggets. Is That's all it is. It's just like, they just stretched them out, I guess. And I never really liked the McNuggets in general. So I guess it, I wouldn't go for this. I had no, I know a friend personally that did get the double, the double stacker, sort of four patty version of this. And he said it was slop as hell. And he said he recommended not for me to get it. And he's a, he's a connoisseur. He's a Big Mac connoisseur. He loved Big Macs. Also love QPs. But if I ever have a question about Mickey D's, I always go to this guy. He always knows what he's talking about. You can always trust his word when it comes to the satisfaction of food. So I always trust him. And he told me that these sandwiches are busted. They're busty and they're not good. Don't even fuck with them. Um, in my opinion, I probably wouldn't go for that shit. But if you want to go for that, go ahead. Yum. Don't go for that shit. Go for the QP. If you're going to get anything from McDonald's, always get the QP. Always get the, the QP, maybe a double QP, depending on if your mouth is, you know, open enough. And then uh, the fries, obviously. It look good, though. Eh. Chicken look crispy. This is all. Them edges are gone, bro. What are we doing, man? Them edges is fried. Fresh, so I literally just, I literally just got this. So let's see. I wouldn't say that they're fresh. Nothing from McDonald's, I would say, is fresh, but go ahead. This Big Mac sauce? Real fresh. Hello. I really hope it tastes as good as it looks. It does Hold not on. look good, so it probably doesn't taste that good either, I right? Some sweet and sour sauce. I'm sorry. Couldn't you taste it without any of the stuff on it, so that way you get an idea of what the burger tastes like first, instead of coating it? Cause I eat sweet and sour sauce with my McChicken. 
so. Yeah, but it's not the same thing as a McChicken. It's it's completely different, but go ahead. What the fuck is the difference? It's just chicken on a Big Mac. Hello? It's not real chicken, though. It's just like foreskin from the chicken or like a chicken leg or something like that. It's just like random parts of the chicken. <laughs> How's it taste? How it taste, babe? Hickory, 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 hickory. The hair looks good, but the edges is not it. Of course. Of course. That shit is crispy. Mmm. They put some oomph in that hoe. I guess. Come on. Hello. She can't eat it by itself. Like, she just has to coat it with something, mm. dude. This is literally a chicken nugget on a sandwich. True. And that's not, is that good? Damn. Shit looks like it's trying to run away. Mm. Oh, why are you dancing for it? Nah. It's not even that good, bro. It's literally a chicken nugget. It's a big chicken nugget that's been stretched down. You dancing for that shit? It shouldn't be. It, you should not be dancing for this. It, it, it's, it's just fast food. Basic bitch fast food, dude. I knew I was going to like this. Mm. Signed, sealed, and delivered, bitch. Hello. I'm really happy that somebody can make the, like a, a life out of this particular type of content. It's really great. It's really awesome. It's fantastic, actually, because it shows how far we've gotten like progressive wise when it comes to our society, because there are plenty of other countries out there that literally have, you know, people grinding their lives away for minuscule amounts of money to come home to uh, a shack or something like that. And here we have uh, a beautiful woman such as Rima eating uh, two double, you know, Big Mac chicken sandwiches or whatever for online content it's actually quite beautiful it's amazing it's beautiful but it's also really sad because um i know she's not doing this because she wants to eat the food i mean i'm sure she does want to eat the food in the very broad sense of like she knows that this is gonna generate a bunch of revenue and a bunch of views and a bunch of whatever else clout if you will but uh, I think that if she really wanted to, I think that if she had the option, I think that this would not be the life goal or the career path that she would want to go down, given the fact that this is literally slowly but surely killing you, and she probably knows this, and she's probably found a way to cope with that in the sense of like, well, I could probably just forsake like a good two or three, four or five years of my life um, for a couple of chicken Big Mac sandwiches and, uh, you know, make a bunch of money doing it, have a whole bunch of dudes busting a sweet amount of nuts over my mouth, moving in a particular way. But make no mistake about it, this is death. This is literal, like, <laughs> we're watching death. We're literally seeing it. And it may not be as simple as, like, seeing somebody, you know, get run over by a car or something. But it, it's, it's basically the same thing. It's just a very slow process of that. Uh, true. Damn, bro. We ain't even down to the second one yet, dude. Jesus Christ. Mm. I don't, I don't really, just like, I don't, I don't care, bro. Like, I, I get it. You, you think like th making those noises will imbue a whole bunch of other people to see that and go, <gasps> I got to stroke faster, but I, I, I don't get anything from this. Dude. I, I just really hate watching people eat. I, 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 personally speaking, like, I don't like the mouth noises. I don't like when people get the satisfaction from the food, the mouth, the mouth movements, the noises, the lips. I don't like any of it, dude. It's just not attractive to me. I don't know, man. I get it. There are guys out there and they can fully erect themselves while watching a woman do this shit. I can't. It's not personally for me. I don't like it, dude. And, uh, you know, as much as she wants to do this shit, I, I, it's great for her. But like, and it maybe might be great for you, too. But it's not great for me. I don't like it. I hate watching people eat. I really despise it. I, I don't even like watching myself eat. McDonald's, you should probably consider keeping this as a permanent menu item because this is valid. It's just fast food shit, dude. Like, it really doesn't matter, man. None of this shit, it, it, it's just basic, disgusting food. And it's like, it, we're watching this content, right? I, I, it's like, there's nothing to it, though. Like, it's just a person munching down on presumably 1,000 calories plus the fries, which is another 500 calories on top of that, so 1,500 calories. Watching somebody body slam 1,500 calories, almost no interaction to the camera, almost nothing. Like, there's no communication. There's no learning aspect to this. There's no entertainment other than the fact that somebody's eating food. And now, I understand... There, that the, entertainment is in the eye of the beholder. Like, I love watching early 2000s rom-coms. I love Matthew McConaughey in them early roles, right? Even some of the 90s ones. I like those too, right? And I can acknowledge that a lot of these movies are straight hot, just complete garbage, right? I understand this. I think personally, though, um, 
we can acknowledge that something is trash and garbage. And even those movies, I wouldn't say necessarily are complete garbage because, like, you know, millions of dollars went into them and, you know, they, they entertain somebody. In the same way that this is obviously entertaining somebody else. But, like, where are you getting the value from? There's nothing here. It's just somebody body slamming thousands of calories for no other reason than just to body slam the thousands of calories. I just... I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, man. I don't know. Am I weird? Can somebody let me know where the value is on this? Like, what are we doing here? Why are we watching this shit? Like, why is this so entertaining for millions and millions and millions of people? I just don't get it, man. Like, are, do, do, what, has the attention span dropped so drastically that, like, anybody could be entertained by some, some shit like this? Like, I remember at one point, people were yearning for actual entertainment, like, informative videos, and yet we somehow reverted to this. What happened, bro? I just don't get it. What's four plus four? Because McDonald's ate with this one. Wait, hold the fuck up. Ain't the bun supposed to be purple, bitch? Uh-uh. It's just a regular Whopper, by the way, guys. If you guys didn't know. Y'all, none yeah, of... Yeah, I found out recently that they can't guarantee the purple buns. They had a limited stock of them, so... Uh, I guess if you, you go in and you got that Adam Shumley's burger, there was a good chance that whatever burger you got wasn't going to have the appropriate purple bun, which was the entire buying point of the burger to begin with. So, I guess, like, for no other reason than going in to get the purple bun. But, like, if I'm being honest with you, it's the same burger. It's, there's no difference. It's literally just the purple bun. So, if you're expecting anything different, it's not. It's just the novelty of having a purple bun. Now, it would make sense if it was, like, a collectible item, right? It would make sense if it was, like, a special item that you can put upon your shelf and display upon, uh, like, like I do with the maple syrups, right? The Aunt Jemima's back here. They don't make those anymore. Or at least they, they don't make them here in the United States. I think they do make them somewhere in Cuba. Um, or maybe like Davina, right? Like Davina is a beautiful creature of the night. Um, and I can display these people and I can have them for a long period of time. But if you're eating just a regular burger and you, you literally went to Burger King and you paid like an extra dollar more or something like that just for a bun that literally has nothing, nothing about it that's unique. With the exception of the fact that it's purple and you're going to body slam that shit down inside of five minutes anyway. It literally doesn't matter. Like, what are you even doing? Like, there's no novelty to this besides the fact that it's purple and you're going to body slam that in five minutes anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. It's just useless. Like, I just don't understand it, bro. And then you're not even to mention she didn't even get the purple bun it is literally just a basic bitch regular bun can you imagine that like you went all the way to burger king because you thought you was gonna get that unique purple bun to body slam and then you came back and they didn't even have that shit i mean you obviously you obviously feel in some type of way about it but like it's not gonna stop her from body slamming right she's still gonna swallow that shit down she's still gonna have her mouth maneuvers for the burger so the whatever it don't matter purple you know what don't matter. Hey, Fuck Hookies, it. we're trying the Adams Family meal from yep, Burger No Adams Family about this, huh? I don't even know what makes a burger Adams Family oriented, dude. Like, sometimes people just say shit and they go, like, this is this is this movie's version of whatever burger. That'd be like, so, like, what do you, like, what about it makes it an Adams because it's purple? How does that even make sense? You remember when they did the Spider Man burger and it was just black? Why? Like, what are you talking about? What, what about it makes, like, Spider-Man or, like, it was red or something? Like, what are you fucking talking about? It makes no sense. Like, Spider-Man never even ate a burger in any of the movies, I don't think. So, like, what are we even talking about right now? Sometimes people just say shit and they just put ingredients together and they go, we can probably, you know, orient this in a particular type of way. It doesn't make sense, dude. Like, Adam's Family hasn't been relevant in, like, 20 years anyway. I guess Wednesday, the, the TV show Wednesday. But I don't know how good that is. If you've watched it, let me know. I'm not going to watch it, so you can spoil it. King, obviously. The fucking buns are not fucking purple. Yeah, they really got you in the fucking shop, too. It looked like somebody stepped on your burger, too, bro. It looked like the guy behind the counter that I put it together probably sat on it for a few minutes, too. That shit looks real depressing, man. You didn't even get a good one, either. <laughs> you really went all the way over there just to get this sloppy-ass Burger King, which everybody knows is literally the worst of all the fast food. Let me stop. It's probably, it's okay. Like, Burger King is not the worst, but it's also like, why would you go there when you go to Mickey D's? And she obviously went here because she thought she got the novelty of the burger and she didn't even get that. Ha! Get wrecked, young blood! Ha ha! So does it really fucking count as the Adams Family meal? Like, these is regular Whoppers. The only difference is they got Swiss cheese in it, bitch. Come on now. It is what it yeah, is, I, I guess. the whole experience. Like, I'm not going back to go get the real shit because... It's Burger Bitch, King. I don't be in the mood for Burger King like that. Yeah, true. Nobody's in the mood for Burger King like that. It's literally like the lowest caliber. Like, nobody would ever go in there if they didn't have special events and things like that. I'm actually surprised whenever I see somebody eating Burger King because I'm like, why would you go there when you can go to other places? And when I do, bitch, it is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I know I couldn't forget about my motherfucking pickles. Hello. If they regular Whoppers, I might as well just... 
Fucking put double patties on here. Like, Why not, right? Fuck it. Can't forget about the motherfucking pickle. Gotta eat it with the pickle, of course. Damn, bro. I just hate that she never eats it, the initial bite, just regular. And it kind of defeats the purpose. Like, wouldn't you want that first bite, the first bite to, like, break your fast to be what the burger actually tastes like? Instead, she, like, always coats it with something. So it's like, it just defeats the entire purpose. All right, guys, that's the end of the video today. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, sorry if it was a little bit short today. I just don't really like watching people eat copious amounts of calories over and over again. It's not interesting to me. Like, you know, these people are just, like, just slowly but surely um, dying, and it sucks a lot of ass and a lot of dick. Um, it's not like, you know, when I watch Corey's World or I watch Leah, at least these people have a lot of personality and they emanate a lot of personality, so it's something more to talk about. But a lot for a lot of these people, it's just like they're just eating and there's nothing else to it. So um, I do think that Rima is like unique in the sense of like I know she has other content and stuff like that where she shakes her ass on stage or um, shakes her ass before the food comes there or whatever the fuck. That's really cool. You know, I love butt cheeks and things like that. And you guys know I'm a snow bunny, so I can appreciate the melanated race or whatever. Um, but... It's just like, it's not really important to me, to be honest, dude. And by the way, I know a lot of people will say, there you go, Dave, you're a snowbody. Not by choice. Like, it's, you know, it's just whatever, you know, you throw out your rod and you reel it back in. It just so happens to be black ladies. I'm okay with dating any genre or race of lady. It's not a big deal for me. I would never date men, obviously, because I'm not, I'm not gay, personally. I know a lot of people might think that I'm fucked up for saying that. Uh, personally speaking, I just don't really love the ingestation of penis in my mouth. Um, I've never really experienced it, personally. And I know a lot of people would sit there and say, how do you know you don't like it when you've never done it before? Dude, come on. Stop, dude. Like, that's that's really gay to even make that assumption. Have you sucked dick before? How many penises have you for, for, how many penises have you fulfilled in delight? How many? Not many, right? Let's get off my meat. Anyway. I want to congratulate you um, for being such an amazing person. By the way, also, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in, I don't know, hand, because there's a hand on my screen right now, and it's the Adam Family hand. You know, the whatever that shit's called. I don't know what it's called. The thing, the hand, I don't know. Just write hand down below. Your hands, are, by the way, are really, really well hydrated today. I saw that you moisturized them up. I moisturize mine almost every day. Um, what do you guys think about my hands? Tell me what you guys think about it. Give me a scale of on a 1 to 10. How are my hands? Thank you. That's a nice score. I appreciate that. Even if it was like a three, that was a very nice score. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Your hands are very delicate and very beautiful and very well moisturized. And they also have nice crevices. I can appreciate when you have crevices in your hands and those are very nice crevices you got in yours. Very beautiful, very demure, super, super delicious. I love them. Thank you so much for presenting them to me. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very beautiful. Um, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.